Diffusion is the movement of molecules or particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. We say they move down the concentration gradient. Like a ball just rolling down a hill, it'll do it by itself. This doesn't require any energy input, so we say it's passive. This will happen across a semi-permeable membrane if the holes are large enough for the molecules to move through. For example, water can pass through, but glucose will not, at least not by diffusion anyway. Osmosis is the name specifically given to the diffusion of water across such a membrane. For example, if there is a higher concentration of glucose outside a cell, the glucose cannot diffuse in to balance the concentration. So instead, the water moves out of the cell, resulting in a decrease in its mass. The rate of diffusion and osmosis can be increased by increasing the difference in concentrations, increasing the temperature, or increasing the surface area. This is why the villi in your small intestine are lumpy, as well as alveoli in your lungs and root hair cells, for example, too. The practical on osmosis goes as follows. Cut equal sized cylinders from a potato or other vegetable, weigh them, and place in test tubes with varying concentration of sugar solution. After a day or so, we remove them, dab the excess water off their surface, and re-weigh. We calculate percentage change in mass by doing final mass take away initial mass divided by the initial mass times 100. If it's lighter than it was before, this must be a negative change in mass. We plot these percentages against sugar concentration and we draw a line of best fit. Where this crosses the x-axis is what concentration should result in no change in mass, so no osmosis, so this means this must be the same as the concentration inside the potato. Glucose and other nutrients and minerals can move through a membrane by active transport, where carrier proteins use energy to move substances through the membrane. As there's energy used, this can actually move them against a concentration gradient, for example, moving mineral ions into plant root hair cells. Leave a thumbs up if you found this helpful. I've also made videos covering whole papers to help you in your revision. Click on the card to go to the playlist for your board, or have a look on my channel for more. See you next time.